everybody. Welcome to another episode of On the Paint Table. Uh, this is my weekly show about what I got done and what I've been working on and what's coming up next. So again, not a big week. I didn't paint a lot of models, but I did paint one more big model. Um, I painted another night. I said I wasn't going to, and then I did, because I really wanted to play a 2,000 point game with just knights. And now I am. So I painted the sword. I also painted a um, Imperial Assassin, a Calexus Assassin, and an Astropath. Take a look at those right now. Oh, but I got some more 40K stuff coming up. Uh, I'm going to be streaming live the 40K Classic, which is a big yearly 40K tournament in Toronto. Um, and this is going to be my army for it. So uh, the last little bits and pieces I'm going to put together, I was, I'm, I'm going back and forth. It's not a lot of models, so I might do Tempestus Scions. I have the first, I have the, the character. Um, the two characters actually, and the uh, first of the three squads I have built, ready to paint. But I also kind of want to try, I played a game with it now and I kind of want to try it with Primaris Marines too. Mostly because I want to finally paint some Primaris Marines. So I'm going to build and paint both and we'll, I'll decide which one I'm going to actually play in the 40k Classic. So um, anyway, let's take a look at what I got done and what's coming up. So here is the sword, my um, Knight Crusader. Uh, it gives me four knights. We've got the sword, the Mastodon, the Baroness, and the Red Fang. Um, and with this third knight, I now have exactly a 2,000 point army. Um, I already have a challenger to play with all knights, although Dan is going to be playing the pay to win version of Imperial Knights, which is a Knight Porphyrian and two Knight Atroposes. So, yeah, he's showing up with some Forge World. I'm going to play him with some plastic, and we'll see how that goes. But, you know, I always root for the underdog, so we're going to do it. We're going to be always outnumbered, but never outgunned. Um, and then I also painted my. I love this miniature. He's from the. Uh, the um, sort of like attaches to the Imperial Guard stuff. He's the Astropath. He's just a great model. And he's actually kind of a reimagining of the classic old Rogue Trader Astropath miniature that's like just a wonderful like 1980s era sculpt. Uh, and then I also painted from the Execution Force box set the plastic um, Calixus Assassin. One of the things that the Knights really struggle with is mortal wounds, um, especially from psychic powers. And so these guys form a huge barrier to psychics because. If you're within 24 inches of the uh, Calexus, you're minus two to all of your denies and um, and casting rolls for psychic powers. Uh, and of course, that makes it easier to deny as well. And this little dude is a 15 point deny the witch because he's uh, just got a last pistol. Don't take him with a stave. And that means that um, he'll just stand next to the Calexus assassin and they'll be best friends forever protecting my dudes from all the smites that you're going to throw at me. Um, especially if it's like little smites, like the D6 smites for things, because minus two to a D6 smite means it just doesn't work. <laughs> and here's some stuff coming up. We're gonna do my Primaris. Uh, so this is for the version of the list that has Scions in it. It's the two HQs are a Tempestor Prime um, and a uh, Primaris Psyker. I love this miniature. I actually bought him to convert into Eisenhorn because he kind of looks like Eisenhorn with like, the bald head and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just gonna paint him up as a Primaris guy. I've actually taken a cue from Chris Salmon. You guys saw his guard army. He put all his guard characters on 32 mil bases, just kind of kind of make them stand out from all the guys on 25s. Um, and I think it looks really good. So I'm gonna put him on a 25, the Tempestor Primes on that, sorry, on a 32, the Tempestor Primes on a 32 as well. And it kind of makes them pop out. And then I've got here, I actually don't know which of these miniatures are the intercessors, <laughs> but the version that's got the Marines in it um, is two five man intercessor teams, a lieutenant, and a Primaris Librarian with a Scout Squad. Uh, and then the Three Knight Titans and um, a Calixus Assassin and actually the Astropath too. So it's like an Imperial Soup Battalion detachment. But I really wanted to paint my mentors and I haven't had a chance to. And that's the kind of nice thing about the Knights is I can paint like a little taste of everything and, and still play a game with it. Cause like you can add in basically a little tiny battalion of stuff to the Knights and it gives them some infantry and it means that you get to paint some models you haven't painted before. And that's kind of the cool thing about new 40K. Just mix and matching units to make some cool stuff. And so there was uh, the week's progress and some stuff coming up. I also have in the paint queue some stuff for um, the uh, the Walking Dead game. I just got, if you guys watched my live stream from this week, I'll be painting some of the Walking Dead All Out War miniatures, probably after this 40K project's done. Um, I got some new stuff for Mantic I'm working on. Um, I've got some new stuff for Ramble Slam I'm working on, which I'm super excited about. Gonna do some new good guys and bad guys for the two casinos I'm working on. Um, and I'll be coming up in the future soon. So keep your eye posted to my Instagram and Facebook for that. We'll see you tomorrow for Witches and Wonders. Till then, Ash, have a ring. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. My live shows are on Mondays at 2 p.m. Eastern time, uh, typically, unless I notify otherwise. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts. 
um, by a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys. And of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.